Group A. Qatar. Qatar is managed by Felix Sanchez. The nickname of this group is the Anabi, and they are currently ranked 50th in the world. Qatar will become the first country to make its debut at the World Cup by virtue of being hosts. The Sudanese-born striker is the best pure goal scorer in the squad and possesses strong speed to detach from his would-be defenders. Qatar will play in a 3-5-2 format and interchange into a 5-3-2. Qatar's biggest strength of the tournament will be playing at home, having the crowd behind them, but the squad does lack quality international experience. Qatar will be in tough against three quality sides that have that quality international experience and most importantly, experience playing in the world's biggest tournament. The only shot we can see is maybe a point with Costa Rica, but outside of that, they are going to be deep underdogs in all three games in this group stage. Ecuador. Ecuador is managed by Gustavo Alfaro. The nickname of this squad is La Tri. They are ranked 44th in the world. Moises Salcedo is the player to watch for Ecuador. The Brighton midfielder has been impressing greatly lately and is already considered to have the potential to be one of the top midfielders in Europe. Ecuador qualified, finishing fourth in their group. The style of play of this team is they're extremely defensive with very high level flashy speed on the wings, which is set up very nice for that counterattack. They are tough to play against, very strong, very quick, and they do have a clear idea and very tactical. Now, this is going to be a very tough group for Ecuador, with Senegal and Netherlands above them. Uh, this group will most likely finish with those two teams there. Uh, Ecuador vying for a win and some points in the group stage. Senegal. Senegal is managed by Alou Cisser. Nickname of this squad is Lions of Taranga, and they are ranked 18th in the world. Player to watch here is none other than Sadio Mane, by far the most talented forward in this group. All of the hopes of Senegal rest on the shoulders of the country's leading scorer. The runner-up in the Ballon d'Or is dealing with a bit of an injury situation, and his fitness will be the main factor in deciding Senegal's success in this group. Senegal dropped Egypt in the AFCON final for qualification. Expect a rugged 4-3-3 formation from this team. Their biggest strength is that midfield is going to provide a very very sound link for that back line and the people who are on injured reserve have been replaced by considerable upgrades. The biggest weakness here is going to be the age of this team as well as the heat. They do have a goalie that's fallen out of favor at the club level, but Senegal will be putting their best foot forward as they will want to keep pace with the Netherlands. Finishing runner up in this group will most likely mean they have to face the three lines on the knockouts. Netherlands. The Netherlands are managed by Louis van Gaal. Nickname is the Orange, and they are ranked 8th in the world. There's no doubt that Frankie de Jong will be the player to watch. Uh, his control of the Orange three-man midfield will put on an absolute display with his deft touch and passing ability on the ball, while making astonishing plays in extremely tight situations. Netherlands went on a seven-match unbeaten run to finish off their qualification. The style of play is an implemented 3-4-3 system that focuses on safety in the defense and plays with three center backs and two wing backs to support the midfield and attack. Their biggest strength is going to be the squad and its solid defense. Their biggest weakness will be the width of this team. It's not great, and they do rely on their wing backs a bit too much forward to get forward down the flanks. Now, the Orange should have no issues winning this group outright, leaving them a potential favorable matchup in the first round of the knockouts. You can see some long odds for the outright wins. We are going to focus here on to win the group as well as advance. Uh, we do see the Netherlands winning this group with a perfect 3-0 and at a minus 225. And we do see Senegal sneaking two wins out to advance through the group stages with a minus 110. So lock that in. Netherlands minus 225. Senegal minus 110 to advance through the group stages. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more quick and concise and hard-hitting World Cup information.